Hey guys, it's Christina Cooper and as some of you may know, I am half Jamaican and half Chinese. So today we're going to be making a Jamaican jerk chicken alfredo. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to start with an onion, a bell pepper, a clove of garlic, and some broccoli. And I'm going to start by chopping up everything, so I'm going to start with the onion. Throw this in this bowl. And now I'm going to go in with the garlic. Sometimes uh, if I feel like I have too much bell pepper, then I'll use like half of a bell pepper instead of the whole thing, which I think in this case, I might use like three fourths of this bell pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop this. And then last, I am going to cut this broccoli. You can cut it or you can just um, like prick them off or pluck them off, but I just cut it because it's faster and easier to do and just throw it in there also. We're basically gonna saute the broccoli with these vegetables. So I'm just breaking them apart so it's not big clunks of broccoli in your pasta because nobody wants that. Here to go. We're gonna throw everything in this bowl, all the veggies, into um, a sauteing pan and we're gonna saute it and then we're gonna get started on the chicken and then the pasta. So first I like to use the Walker's Wood Jerk Seasoning. I usually use hot and spicy but I know not everybody can handle the heat from jerk so today I'm using the mild. It smells delicious. So I'm just going to scoop like a chunk. It's mild so we can go ham with it. If you're using hot and spicy, you definitely don't want to put a lot because it's extremely spicy. And my family uses this brand of um, jerk seasoning in a lot of their dishes. So I like to use Walker's Wood. It brings back good old memories and I actually used to make a lot of pasta when I was in Milan so chicken alfredo is like my favorite dish to make and I was like why not combine it by you know making it Jamaican style okay so now it's basically marinated to my liking you can do more if you want but I like it like this so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to season it a little bit I like to use the Creole seasoning. This is like good on everything. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna season it a little bit. Of course, to your liking. I'm not really a tablespoon, teaspoon kind of girl. I just kinda eye it. And this is a seasoned meat tenderizer. So it basically um, seasons your food as well as um, keeping the meat tender and soft. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of garlic salt. But we do want a little flavor. And then of course, black pepper. And 
and the more black pepper you put, the spicier it is. So keep in mind that you already have um, the jerk seasoning on it. And I like to put a little bit of the basil leaves also because we're cooking pasta. So that kind of keeps you on the Italian side, I guess, still. While oh, you still got the little Jamaican vibe going on. I am going to chop these up into strips. And at the end of this, I am going to add a little bit of the Walker's Bread drink seasoning into the Alfredo sauce just to give it more of a Jamaican cake. All right, so now I'm just gonna scoop the chicken into the pan. And before I add the vegetables, I'm gonna let this cook a little more just so that I'm not mixing, you know, raw chicken with vegetables. So we're gonna let this cook a little bit and then I'll add in the vegetables in about five minutes or so. So now I'm gonna throw in the broccoli and the other vegetables like the onions and the garlic and saute it with the chicken since it's halfway done. And depending on how soft uh, you like your broccoli, you can leave it in longer if you want it softer, or if you like, you know, crunchier broccoli, you can add it in a little later when the chicken's, chicken's almost done. And I'm gonna add a little more seasoning to it since we can add season the vegetables. So I'm gonna use some more of the Creole, just a little bit. I do want some flavor. A little ground pepper. And some garlic salt. And lastly, some basil. It looks like our water is boiling for our pasta. So what I'm gonna do is pour this box of pasta <laughs> into the bowl. But um, basically, it depends how much you want. I usually use the whole uh, box because I'm cooking for a few people, maybe like three to four people. So, it up a little bit and then we're just gonna let it sit and cover it up so it can boil the pasta. And make sure you add enough olive oil or whatever oil you prefer so that the pasta doesn't stick to the pot. And then you're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna scoop the chicken, the broccoli, the onions, and the garlic into the pot with the pasta now that we've drained the water. Scoop thing out. I like to get every last bit of flavor <laughs> in there. And then now, we are going to add in the ragu. So first we'll add in the ragu garlic parmesan sauce. And you can use just one uh, container if you like. I like my pasta creamy and saucy, so I'm more than likely gonna add in two bottles. It looks like a lot, but once you mix it, it kind of gets in there. So we're gonna mix in the first bottle of ragu. And while it's in the pot, I like to sprinkle a little cheese. You can use Parmesan, cheddar, Colby, anything's fine. Cheese. Might be enough for today. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it up again. So now that we're done cooking, we are gonna try the pasta. That's some good stuff. 
You can taste the garlic, the onions, the basil, the jerk, everything. It's kind of like Italian meets Jamaica. Now that you guys have gotten a taste of the Caribbean, join me next time for Cooking with Christina. Bye!